Hey friends, today I am heading to the Regal Eagles Smokehouse to try and compare it to what I think my favorite barbecue place on Disney property is and that is the Polite Pig. Is it better? We're gonna find out right now as it stands before I walk in here, the Polite Pig is my favorite barbecue spot. And uh, what gives me those credentials? I'm the master of the meat sweats. Let's go do this. Here we are. It's nice to see those walls down. I have to say, I really enjoy the outdoor patio area here because then you got your whole entire smoker right here with all this cool wood. I'm sure they don't actually use that wood, but wow, look at that. What a beauty, huh? <laughs> and then the actual indoor, and this is where the food's gonna be. So that's where I'm gonna be. I gotta say the AC in here is feeling fantastic, but it is very busy and very loud in here because it just opened, uh, I think yesterday, so a lot of people are real excited. And it's been a waiting a long time. People have been waiting to actually get in here. And here's a look at the menu. I'm more than likely gonna go with the American platter so I can choose three different types of meats and garlic toast and a side but I don't know which ones I'm gonna get. What are the options? What are the choices? I don't know. What I decided on getting was the American platter and I ended up getting ribs, pork butt, and brisket. And onion rings as my side, but then the cast member who I was like, oh, should I get the french fries or the onion rings? He said, you gotta try the fries. They're not normal Disney fries. So he actually gave me this small french fry. Isn't that so cool? So now I get to try a little bit of both. This looks amazing though. Now we gotta find a seat. This place is packed. Look at it in here. Holy moly. I don't even know where to go. Oh, got one. Oh, with the window view. I like this seat a lot. Get my own paper towels. I think they're on every single table. But look at that. Nice, beautiful view. One thing I immediately got to say is, you know how you can't get back to your seat without like trying a french fry? So, I did. I, I tried a french fry and they are not like your typical Disney french fries. They have a, a, a special seasoning to them. I like them a lot. Thank you so much to the cast member that gave me these because now I know. I know. But hold the phone. Where is the barbecue? They gotta have like barbecue dispensary somewhere in here. Oh, oh, I see it. I'm gonna leave my food on the table. Hopefully nobody takes it. Oh yeah, and here they are. Sweet mustard sauce, savory spice sauce, a classic smokehouse sauce, and ketchup. went with the sweet brisket and then the classic smokehouse to start off with looking pretty good brisket sauce a little watery though and holy moly we got the fancy stuff here mom get out the good silverware oh, ho, ho, I like it not sure where to begin the pork butt looks pretty delicious the ribs oh yeah I like those ribs or the brisket oh choices I think I might as well just get an onion ring done. These are beer battered. I hope they're pretty delicious. You know what? They're really good. I'm fortunate to be able to try both the fries and the onion rings, but 
If he didn't give me the fries, I would probably still choose the onion rings over the french fries. Even though the french fries are pretty delicious, those are definitely really, really good. Now I want to try a little of this smokehouse barbecue. I think I'm going to do a little pork butt. A little pork butt on the pork. Pork butt on a pork with a little classic smokehouse sauce. Oh, look at that. Pork butt is phenomenal. Holy moly. I like it a lot. The traditional smokehouse sauce really doesn't do anything like amazing for me. I mean, it's good barbecue sauce, but now I'm interested in trying the brisket sauce with the brisket. But things are starting to make some sense here because they already put the brisket sauce on the brisket. It comes like that. So I got a little extra. Maybe I'll try some french fries with brisket sauce. That sounds good. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, the brisket sauce is pretty good. Now we're gonna try to get this brisket in one bite. I'm trying to roll it up right onto the fork. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, it's good. It's very good. Next time though, I'm probably gonna tell them a little light on the sauce. I wanna taste a lot more meat and flavor than just the sauce. So I'll know that for next time. But now, on to the ribs. But we're gonna need some of that classic barbecue smokehouse sauce on there. Oh yeah. Look at that, just like a TV commercial. Oh, <laughs> now we're gonna. Yeah. We gotta get to the side. Oh yeah. That's how it's done. I get very messy here with my fingers, so I gotta be careful. That's the worst thing about eating and filming. You gotta make sure your hands are clean before you go pressing any buttons. We're gonna get sticky buttons, but here's the good stuff, hopefully. The ribs are delicious, but they're not fall off the bone ribs, which doesn't mean they're bad. Just some ribs are a little bit more sturdier than the others. And I like these, very smoky. You can literally taste the smoke on these ribs. And just like that, we went through that whole entire platter. I'm also impressed by the amount of napkins I use. Usually my tray is covered with napkins when I'm eating barbecue, but look at that, not too shabby. And I got nothing on my shirt. <laughs> That's a good day right there. I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on the barbecue in a second, but I wanna show you a little bit more of the inside because the decoration and the decor is really cool. I like it a lot. And the official pit master of the Regal Eagle Smokehouse is Bobo. Right there's a certificate stamped and authorized by the judge, Sam the Eagle. I decided to come outside because, I, like I said, I wanted to give you my final thoughts on the barbecue, but I also wanted to see if my favorite restrooms at Epcot are open back up. They have little restrooms on this side that I used to love going to because they were very quiet back there. So we're going to take a peek see. Oh, nope. Not open. It's kind of sad. I really do like these restrooms. Look, you can see a telephone sign over there. Oh, well. So, final thoughts on the Regal Eagles Smokehouse. The pork belt, fantastic. Probably the best I've ever had. It was delicious, best thing on the menu that I had. I mean, I loved it. It was literally hands down. Next time I go there, I'm probably gonna do two sides of that and then pick one other meat. But that was phenomenal. The ribs were kind of just ribs. Uh, I would say Flame Tree Barbecue is probably a better rib. 
and uh, the brisket the brisket was a very good decent sized brisket like you get a lot of pieces Churl's end is probably a little bit better would I say this is the best barbecue on Disney World property unfortunately not I still have to stick with the polite pig that is my favorite barbecue joint on Disney property now they come in at a close third probably a toss-up between them and flame tree barbecue I feel like other than that it's still a fantastic place to eat and a great addition to Epcot I definitely will be back so live the life you live we'll see you next time bye